Hey guys, it's me Sydney. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here and you're coming from Jazzy's or you guys were searching up sorority vlogs, hey, my name's Sydney. Um, I go to ASU. I'm currently a freshman. I just went through the process of Rush. I'm super excited to be able to show you guys this and I hope that you guys watch it. I know that this video is very long, so honestly, like, I would highly recommend that you watch it and, like, get some popcorn, get ready, and just understand that this is my personal process I go through and I actually tell you guys what I think about the sororities based on the days and like I try to get some clips of the actual process I can't film being in the rooms so this is like the best I could do but this is like every single day and then also what I wore so I hope that that helps you guys out um I will be doing more sorority videos because my rogam one of them has a youtube channel and she told me that she wanted to collaborate so in the future look for that but if you guys are coming from Jazzy's video then hey guys my name's Sydney welcome don't forget to follow me on my socials like comment subscribe and then also um you know, she has her sorority video up too, so if you guys want to go and click the link down below to her video and her channel, subscribe to her, show her some love from my fit fam. Hi guys, my name's Jazzy, and today I am collabing with Sid. I'm so excited to be doing this collab because we've been planning it for a really long time, and I'm so excited that we finally got to it. On my channel, I'm going to be doing a my sorority experience video as well. Me and Sid had kind of different experiences, but also a little bit similar. So if you guys want to see my experience after you watch hers, go ahead and click the link in the description down below. I'd love to have you over on my channel. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and Sid's channel and give both our videos a big thumbs up. Can't wait to see you there. Bye. Let's just get into this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to start with round day one, but then it's going to go like there's a couple like days for some of the rounds. Um, and so it's like, I think a seven day process in total. And it took me two weekends. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, I'd love to answer them down below as well. And then also I'm going to be doing a separate sorority Q&A. So yeah, I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you guys in my next video and let's just roll the footage. All right, so we just left Taylor Place and now we're headed to get on the light rail. We are going to the Delphi Tours tonight. It's going to be awesome, right Bridget? Yeah. Kapow! No, you're not going to oh, fist bump me. Shout out to the girls that were in that lift for saying hi to me. You guys are sweet. Didn't they do that, Bridget? Yes, they did. It was so cute. Like, I love when people come up to me. Like, that's my favorite thing. I'm currently at Rush, but I'm like vlogging really quick before I actually go over to my group because I don't want them to see that I'm vlogging. But this is what it looks like. It's like a ton of group of girls just like, you know, holding up the signs and everything like that. And um, it's gonna be like really fun. I'm like really excited and everything. My thing starts at 7 30 but i'm pretty sure that they're already like lining up and everything it's 706 so i have to go find my group um i won't tell you what group i'm in but let's go and find them okay so some of the groups already cleared out but that's what it looks like right now Okay guys, so we're currently touring the Adelphi's. This is kind of what some of it looks like. Good morning guys. So today is day one, round one of official rush. So Bridget and I are actually getting ready to leave. We are at the downtown campus, so if anyone's curious, like this is what I'm wearing. Um, I was told like, maybe don't wear a crop top, but like, I didn't know, I don't bring a lot of clothes. So I'm just gonna like keep it pulled down and everything. But this is my skirt. And this is my top. And I actually do, um, I'm gonna like let you guys know this cause I'm gonna keep it real. Um, yeah, I have hickeys on my neck that I had to cover up with concealer. So don't do what I did. We got the little bag they have you take and everything. I have like a monster, a bottle of water, Pencil, paper. Bridget looks so cute. Oh, I okay, I was like, oh, I forgot. She's so excited. She's looking at how cute she I is. I am really excited. They're probably gonna do like all these chants, and it's gonna be super weird, but I'm so excited. I know, right? I love that stuff. But it's, it's like gonna be super hype. So we're both gonna head out. This is good. This is good. Do do do. I'm so tired, but I have so much energy now. Hello. Hello. Oh. 
guys. So, we just got our name tags. This is what it looks like. You guys saw my outfit earlier. I'm drinking a monster now. I ate breakfast. And the Rogue Gamma groups like all met downstairs. I'm so excited. All right, guys, we're going in. <laughs> okay, so the first thing that we're supposed to do is pull out our round 15 cards. I'm so excited. So I have mine right here. Okay, we're visiting Alpha Gamma Delta. Yeah, you might have. Presentation, and now we're going on to our next one. This is what it has, and then like afterwards, they have like these cards. So you just give it to them, like right when you start talking to them. And uh, yeah, like I'm already getting tired, and it's only 10:51. So we just got done being at which one did we just go? Alpha B. Alpha B. Now what? It which one are we doing? Hi five. Yeah, so we're doing hi five now. Um, we're having so much fun. My energy is kind of lagging now. She said hers isn't, and she said hers isn't. Fine. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh, I had so much earlier. So like, if you guys are like watching this, save your energy. I'm so torn already because I just like a lot of them already. But like, there's a couple that really stand out to me, and like, I'm just hoping that like, it's gonna. We have to wait like five days though to figure out. Yeah, I know. It's and then it's gonna suck. But it'll be okay. The next one, we're just waiting like right now in a huge line. And there's a lot of them. <laughs> so I just got out of Kappa Kappa Gamma. I liked it. It was really nice. Um, we only talked to like one person during that hotel. So currently we're all waiting in line for our last one. Woo! We're survivors. How do you guys feel about this whole process? Tired. Tired? Hungry. Hungry. Yeah, no, I can't wait to lay in bed and just like chill. Yeah. And then like they're going through the line and like checking. There's one of the road gammas over there. Alright guys, so we finished the we, what is this? This is round one, right? Yeah. So we finished round one. Currently behind me it's like a dust storm, aka boob. Um, we're waiting for the shuttle to take us back to downtown and everything. Bridget, how was it? Good. Tired, yeah. but it was a lot of fun. We're gonna sleep and eat and feel great. It's Sunday night, so now we have like a full week to figure out like our our preferences or like whatever we like put as our number ones. We'll like find all of that out on Friday. So like now we have like five days to wait and it's kinda nerve wracking, but at the same time like I don't have to worry about it, so it's cool. I'm gonna show you guys what I had in my bag. So I had a pan Hellenic bag. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys what I dumped all the contents out on my bed and I'll show you literally everything But um, I had this bag they give this bag to you and It just says find your home in Pan Hellenic. They make everyone use this You cannot have your own bag. So like if you guys are wondering I'm pretty sure they make you have a bag like that they supply first thing is just the save the date um, event this so this is the I value they wanted you to fill it out like honestly like you don't really take notes here. You took them all. I took them on my phone some cheese sticks in my bag I ate two of them. I had One left so I'm gonna toss those out. I also had this snack So I'd highly recommend that you bring snacks This was a marshmallow treat that has protein in it from eat enlightened Then I also have my vlogging camera which I'm filming off right now I have my battery for an extra in case like I just wasn't sure because I vlog like a decent amount I wanted to make sure that I had enough time then I had another protein bar I actually did not eat this just because I was like so busy so nervous but I would highly recommend you bring a lot of snacks travel size perfume so this is the scent that I used today it was the DKNY be delicious um, it's also really good to like smell good because then they remember the way you smell when they like shake your hand and they're near you breath mints so I bought these I would highly recommend that you guys bring these ahead of time and like buying them because they don't like it when you chew gum but I had these breath mints in spearmint My my wallet portable charger I also had this water bottle and that's it all right guys so I'm going to be doing a recap of round one and my thoughts on the sororities at ASU um, these are my personal thoughts and experiences I have to give you guys a disclaimer like right now here like there there are so many different girls in each sorority like you may have a completely different opinion about them or situation that happens or like a connection that I didn't get because we're all different people this is just purely for me so that I can look back at this video and be like wow Sydney this is what you thought round one round two they called you back and this is like actually what happened so you you get nine choices and then like the bottom three are like your not choices you know like if you don't get picked by one of your top ones you might get picked by all nine you might not keep that in mind um that you felt like you connected with 
and then I actually have to wait until Friday. So right now it is actually Sunday night. <laughs> so I have like five days to wait until I find out if these people that picked me, that I picked, like picked me back or like what I'm going to be doing for the next round of Rush. So first one that I went to was Alpha Gamma Delta. Um, honestly, I was not that impressed by this one just because like I was in shock. So it was like completely different. But like looking back, I was like, they, they didn't leave a lasting impression. I didn't have a lasting like connection with them, but they were super sweet. They did talk about like how they studied together. We had good conversation. Um, they actually sat on their knees looking up at you at most of them. So, I mean, I didn't not, I, I like, didn't really like that because I felt like we weren't on the same level and they are like looking up at me and I felt like my posture couldn't be good so I was like sitting like crunched over so I could talk to them but um that was for almost all of them the next one though was Delta Gamma I have to tell you guys right now I'm so so pumped because Delta Gamma was like by far one of my favorites like every time I talk about Delta Gamma like I didn't think I'd like them I didn't I honestly like had no expectations for most of them I did not stalk them on social media like there's some that I did this one though, I connected with the first girl like crazy. Second girl, I connected with her as well. It was like insane because when you talk about body positivity, a lot of girls cannot really like connect with you on so many different levels. And I had two really great conversations with two different girls. And I was talking about like all these things about like traveling, body positivity. We just really dove into it. It was super great. Sigma Kappa. I did not really feel connected to I felt like the conversation was like labored but like we just didn't have much in common like they were great girls I just you know wasn't really wasn't really into that one um the next one was Kappa Alpha Theta super fun vibrant unique girls I love the fact that all their jackets match very cute and they're all like very uh diverse people in that one like in that one I felt like all of the girls were like super intelligent which was nice um I had really good conversation it just wasn't like the perfect fit on day one. The next one was Alpha Phi. Really liked that one. The only thing is I know about Alpha Phi because I have friends at U of A. Um, they have like a rep for being like all blonde and when I walked in, it kind of like fit that rep, but then I looked around and then after the conversation that I had, like I had such a great conversation with these girls and they were all very, very sweet people and I just, I don't know what to expect from that one. The next one was Delta Zeta. This one, I actually do follow them on Instagram. I follow all of them, but like for me, I just did not have good conversation. Like the girl wasn't really trying to get to know me. She was just telling me about herself. Um, and I felt like I was like pulling out of her and she just kept telling me things that were like not what I'm interested in, which is totally fun because like, I want to get to know the person that like is in this sorority so I can make a better decision on it myself but like I felt like she wasn't really interested in getting to know me which is fine um but that was like my only situation I think where like it wasn't that great of conversation and they weren't like trying to get to know me Kappa Kappa Gamma I spoke to this lovely girl we were talking about like how they have dogs at their meetings I thought that was really cute they were very low-key I liked that I just I, I just didn't really vibe with that one either, but we'll see. The next one is Kai Omega. So I talked to this one girl, and when I tell you this experience was amazing, I walked out of there beaming, but I don't know how I feel still because, like, I really like Delta Gamma, and I walked out of Delta Gamma, like, it was crazy. Um, this one, same thing. Kai Omega, the girls are so sweet. They're very, very, like, down-to-earth, humble women. And I even got a hug after this one and that makes me feel really good like I'm pretty sure if you get a hug and Then the person starts tearing up. That's like a really good thing um, We connected on like so many really good levels and I walked out of there feeling really good Honestly overall that was like the ones that I had to go to today. I also went to um It's like Omicron pie. I think that one they're a new chapter here at ASU so they don't have they didn't have like a typical rush they just did like an inf informational session and their rush is like a little bit after ours but i was really really excited about all these so then i went into the little room did my votes and everything i put delta zeta at my bottom i put um I'm trying to remember who else i put delta zeta at my bottom and i can't remember who else because i had two other bottoms i think i actually messed it up but like honestly I just made sure that the ones that I really really liked like Delta Gamma and Alpha Phi and like a couple others were and like Delta Kappa were or Kappa Delta 
I just made sure that the ones that I really did like were up at the top because like after that if they don't pick you back then you know your other ones pick you back so like I'm kind of hoping that at least I get a couple so I don't know it's just this was just such a great experience you guys I am so excited I'm so tired though it is 8 39 I'm probably like I'm not losing my voice yet but like I'll probably lose it so now I have five days to wait to find out my results because it's Sunday night and I have to wait until Friday morning to get my results back so I'm really really nervous really excited starting off the round two vlog right here so I'm walking to the shuttle because you guys know I'm at downtown campus all right guys so I just want to talk a little bit since I am on the shuttle right now going to Tempe so a few things that I put in my bag for round two I brought stuff for homework but I feel like it was probably not a good idea I brought a book that I have to read for one of my classes my laptop Monster Energy, which I'm about to drink right now. And then, like, my bag is so heavy, I feel like it's gonna break. Okay, so, like, right now we're getting our schedule. I have Delta Gamma, Sigma Kappa, Kappa Alpha Theta, Chi Omega, Kappa Delta, Alpha Delta Pi, um, Alpha Gamma Delta, so. Okay, so we have these little cards. This is round two. So I have mine right here. Um, I have two for tonight, and then I also have five more for tomorrow. Then everyone else is filling their stuff out. Got my girl over here, she looks excited and pumped. <laughs> but then there's like everyone else from their groups. The groups over there. We got Madison the Rogue Gamma over there. Um, this does not look right. I have one romper that actually looks good, and like, I just like what are the only rompers that It looks really cute. Because well because like Alright guys, so I just got out of round two, part one. I only went to two today, so like it was like they split the round up into two different ones. Like tomorrow I have five more. And um, you know, the first two that I went to, I went to Delta Gamma. Love them. I'm trying really, really hard not to get attached to them just because like, you know, there's always the possibility that like even though you feel a connection, they don't. So the first one that I have today though is Kappa Alpha Theta and that one is the one where like I, what I've gotten from that is like they're really driven, they're really fun, they're smart, um, they're all beautiful girls. Like every girl in all of the sororities are so beautiful and they're, there's diversity in them. Like people think that it's just like all girls that like look a specific way. Like I'm telling you guys right now like I was so surprised. And I'm so glad that I'm like experiencing this because I feel like I've connected with girls in every sorority, but not some of them are, like more than others, and they're all really great. So I have Kappa Alpha Theta first, then Chi Omega. Those two are back to back. Then I have three rounds of a break, and then I have Kappa Delta, and that one I really like as well. So Theta, Omega, and Delta, like those those three I really like, and then um, Alpha Delta Pi. That one I really, like, I I didn't remember them until today when I was talking to my sweet mate Bridget. She said something about them and then, like, I finally remembered after her saying something. Like, it took me 24 hours to remember who they were. So if that tells you something, like, they were not memorable to me. Um, and then Alpha Gamma Delta, I just really did not connect with them the first time. I don't think I probably will this time. But, like, like I said, I'm trying to keep a really open mind. And, um... Yeah, so those are the ones that I have today. I have five today, so it's Theta, Omega, Delta, Pi, and Delta. So I'm really excited for today and everything, and I'll like update you guys. Um, I have a couple different breaks. I like have two decent sized chunks where I'm gonna just like sit there for like an hour. So what I'm gonna do is just like sit there for an hour, chill, eat, whatever, you know. So this is my whole outfit. This is my dress. You guys can see it. Um, shoes right here, and then. My necklace is right here. So like I'm not wearing a bra and I hope that's not a problem. I said I always have to remember my password. I figured it out though. It was just funny. I was like, oh no.
all right guys so i just finished up it is currently 7:49, so like i stayed and talked to some guys totally missed <laughs> my shuttle so like let's have our fingers crossed that like there's another one at eight because like i totally missed it and i don't think there is another one but we shall see good morning guys so today is officially round three it is currently like 20 minutes till eight and we're about to head out but I just wanted to like do a little check-in with you guys. So today, this morning, I actually find out my new schedule. Um, yesterday and the day before that, those were like round two, part one, and then part two. So like that was a two-day event. So I already had my schedule yesterday morning. Today, it's kind of like the, well, you get six back, I'm pretty sure, or maybe it's five. One of the, no, I'm pretty sure you get six back. And um, that means that like whoever mutually called me back or whoever I like mutually like back as well, like they'll call me back. Um, you can get only up to six. So like I know for a fact I'm losing at least one. Probably gonna lose a couple more because like this is when they get pickier. And then after today like today's goal is to like get the two that you really really want so i'm gonna really like dial it in and focus on the ones that i like think are my favorites and just like still be open to it because like if i get dropped the one thing i need to know is like if i get dropped by one that i genuinely like really really liked like i'm not gonna cry about it like it's gonna hurt because it's rejection but like i know at the end of the day like they don't see um me fitting into their sorority like it's not like i'm not a good person it's the fact that like their sorority has specific values they have a philanthropy and yesterday was philanthropy day so like if they didn't think that i connected enough with the philanthropy or something like that or other people connected more with it and would fit better in the sorority like that's totally understandable but that's the perspective that i'm going into this with um i also do not feel super good so i'm drinking tea right now I also have a lot of homework to do so like if anyone's wondering like you don't have a lot of time to get your stuff done so like I would highly recommend that like depending on like where you are rushing or recruiting at um, if they tell you that you have like breaks bring your laptop bring your stuff it's cool to like socialize with people but like there's other people that are doing their homework that you can sit with um, I have my bag it's just sitting on the floor right here um, we're gonna go get our Lyft Uber thing and uh, head out all right guys so i got here um i did not show you guys my outfit bridget's right here so all the girls are just chilling i think they're waiting for my schedule okay guys so i got here i pulled my life together slightly and i ordered food i treated myself to the schedule for my first one which is dg and that's like the one i'm most excited about so like this is starting my day off really really well hi oh my god Okay guys, so <laughs> Bridget is currently eating, but like... <laughs> my first one is Kaya Mega 7, okay. Um, my second one is Kappa Delta. Um, however, like, they are so, so, so close. Like, I love them both so much. Um, I feel like I could be really, really great friends with the girls in Kappa Delta, but I feel like with the girls in um, Kaya Omega, I'm already great friends with them. When she said that, I was just like, <laughs> boy, girl, girl. Sisterhood? What do you want to say? <laughs> Sisterhood. <laughs> you know, like, oh, so that's so cute. So I had Delta Gamma, then Kai Omega, which are the ones she's actually talking about, saying that she like, you know, is already friends with them. And I, 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 I don't have that connection with them, but like, I'm really glad she does. Um, they're really great, amazing, beautiful girls, and they're so sweet, and they're all very motivated. Um, we'll see what I get back tomorrow. Today is actually round. Three. So tomorrow's round four, which is preference, and yeah. All right, guys. So I got my schedule back. I sound like I'm dying. Like I sound like a dying man. I have my first one at 11:20, and then my second one at 2:20. So I was dropped by Delta Gamma, but I ended up with Alpha Delta Pi and then Chi Omega. So I really, really like Chi Omega. I do not feel as connected to them as I did to Delta Gamma, but like I'm still really happy about this opportunity. Um, and then Alpha Delta Pi, 
they're really nice but like I just feel like the conversations are not going anywhere there's not really like a good connection with any of the girls so that one's just gonna be like go in do it um, so keep a positive smile on my face and everything but like Kai Omega is like the one that I want for bid day so like we'll see how today goes Bridget also got Kai Omega we're actually in the same one so that's pretty cool. We're gonna be standing next to each other in line. <gasps> oh, oh yeah. So, so the like second totally day that you go in, they right have you write it's called the wish card, like uh -huh. <laughs> and you write like what you wish for, whether you wish for a good year, uh, like a good sorority thing, and you write it down and then you pin it on like a little board. Mm -hmm. And then they say that uh -huh. if you get asked back on bid day, they give you your little wish card back. And then the third day you walk in, they um, have you line up. And they take, so a, the, they take a picture immediately with, with like the girl you're with. And then they're like, okay, like, blah, blah. They never told you what to do with the picture or anything. They never gave it back to you, nothing. And then you sit down and then you just start talking to the girl. And then they like form like a horseshoe around you. And then they start doing like their little like one girl steps out. I was in Barrett. I was in Shea like all this stuff. But like during my conversation, I really liked it. The girl was like... She was like, wow, like she's like, keeps your red, like, your red hair is so funny. Like, I think you add a lot of diversity to yeah, our that really, really like sorority. And I was like, thanks. Is that a compliment? Like, I was like, thank I you. I like your hair too. Thank you. And then it was just like, she was talking and she, it just was very like, rehearsed, I think. It was very um, like, it felt very selective. Because then like, you're wondering, you're like, what are they doing with the picture? So they literally just take it right when you get in. As soon as they have two little white benches sit down with a little background that says Adam on it. And then you immediately sit down, you smile, take a picture, and then you get up and go to your seat. Like they never, like that was it. Like, and then, I mean, if they ask, they're like, oh, we just want it for our record or whatever. All right guys, so I just got through my rounds. So I had Alpha Delta Pi today, and then I also had Kai Omega. And Bridget had Kai Omega today too. And like, when I tell you, she really loves them. She really loves them. She knows that that's like the one that she wants and I'm over here like oh, I like says, them. I don't think really love is strong enough word. I know. She said she doesn't <laughs> think love is a strong enough word. And like, but like for me, like I don't love them. I just like them. And then I don't like Alpha Delta Pi, which like nothing wrong with them. I just don't feel connected to them. But then with like Kyle Mega, like yeah, I love the girls, but like I don't know how I feel about the whole like their ceremonies are so emotional and I'm not that type of person like I'm an emotional like bubbly type person but like I'm not that that I don't know there's just something with it that just makes me not feel like it's the one for me like I don't know do you know what I mean Bridget like I'm that type of personality that like I just don't know and so like right now I'm just like sitting here thinking like do I put my preferences in or do I drop like so like the first day I I had like a top four and the first day of round two I didn't get any of them and I was really upset and I was like what did I do wrong like this isn't for me all that stuff and then I realized every time I went back to Kai Omega like just why haven't they been my number one this whole time because they make me did I just like they're just so different to me than all the other ones. They make me happier and more energetic every time I'm with them. Every time I'm talking to them, I don't want to leave. I just want to keep talking to them and get to know every single one of them personally and like love every single one of the girls I've talked to for different reasons. And I know I'm going to love everyone else in it um, just based on what they were saying and based on how the girls I've talked to in it are. I just, I love them like even more than I thought possible. So I feel very, very connected to them. I'm hoping for the best tomorrow, um, but I'm just like kind of blown away right now. I didn't expect this to happen. So she's really, really happy. Like you can see the difference between us. Like I'm so confused. All right guys, so I just got back from Rush and I know that I vlogged a little bit, but I want to explain why I dropped. This was preference round. This is what I wore. I'm going to show you guys because I don't think I actually showed you. So I wore this white dress and then these shoes and I felt really good in it like there wasn't like any issues like the girls were all really sweet I went to Kai Omega and I went to um Alpha Delta Pi but my connection with Alpha Delta Pi was not very good but like it wasn't them the girls are so sweet it just I just didn't feel connected you know um when I went to Kai Omega I felt really connected but I also felt like I don't know how to explain it like the feelings that I felt for them were not amazing and not perfect so 
I just wanted to not, I wanted to drop rather than like telling them tomorrow at midday. So I didn't make it to midday. And I'm honestly like, at first I was upset about it, but then I realized like, this is opening up so many opportunities for me and I made it this far. Like I did not drop the first day. I didn't drop the second day. I didn't drop the third day. And they told me that like this is called withdrawing because you're not putting in your preference so that then you don't have to accept a bid and then be like financially like into it and everything like that if that makes sense. And I also really felt connected to some of the girls and I didn't want to break their hearts. Like I, honestly like I had to focus on myself and like think what was right for me because I called my mom and she really helped me make the decision. I talked to Bridget and then I called my mom. So like those two things, those factors really helped. All the Rogams, like they are obviously in it. So like they, they love it and they show you the good and then your family tells you like the reality. And Bridget ended up going with Kai Omega tomorrow. I'm pretty sure she's getting a bid from them. So that's really exciting. But I'm actually gonna end the vlog here. If you guys are interested in sorority videos and everything like that, I actually am going to be collaborating with my Rogue Gamma eventually all about like sorority stuff. So please subscribe. I'm gonna probably do spring recruitment. But if there's an update and you guys are like subscribed, you'll find out because in the next 30 days, I'm actually gonna be on the continuous bid list. And then there's also a new sorority here this year which I could possibly be a founding member of called Omicron Pi or Alpha Omicron Pi and they're brand new they're you know taking members they're recruiting and everything and I'm like really excited so I want to you know take some time and like look into that but for now for this rush I am done I I'm not like with them anymore and I'm not gonna be going to bid day, but that doesn't mean sorority videos are done for. So if you guys are like wanting to see like what to wear, like outfit ideas or like tips for recruitment day, like let me know in the comments down below. But I seriously love you guys and I hope that this vlog helped give you insight to any sorority that you wanna be part of or anything in general because I'm gonna have like, I really hope that this video helped you guys out though. If you guys are going to ASU or if you guys are rushing in general or if you guys just wanna see like what it's like to be in my life doing this, then I hope that this gave you guys some insight. I love you guys so much, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.